to my channel or welcome back to my channel there's a lot more of you on this channel than there were the last time i did sit down video which was forever ago but today we are here to talk about how to have your perfect summer before last summer i really did not get the hype about the season i'm gonna be completely honest i definitely suffered from like summertime sadness i just like summertime just meant like having to be away from my friends and like not seeing them every day and like i would just like be locked in the house and it was just like not good vibes that was until last summer i literally had the best summer of my life like it was absolutely insane and so much fun um i implemented some new tips and changes which i think made my summer like what it is so they helped me i think they can be really helpful to some of y'all so let's get into it i also need to like put a disclaimer that mental health is a very serious thing so like obviously if you're like suffering from like anxiety or depression this isn't going to be like a cure-all like go seek professional help but it's just more for if you feel like often in the summertime you get stuck in a rut or like summer never lives up to your expectations these are tips that can like help you out i brought my journal wrote it all down it's very serious <laughs> so step one is extremely extra i'm just going to warn you but you're going to make a like guide for everything you want to happen this summer you can do this in your journal i did it in my journal this year last year i did a notion page i probably will make a notion page too because those are just cute and fun and like easy to access on this like guide page book notion page you're going to write down this list of categories that i'm about to give you you're going to want to make like a little section for your physical health slash fitness your wellness slash mental health hobbies you might want to try like fun ideas slash things if you get bored potential trips for restaurants museums bars you want to go to also want to make one for all the books you want to read these are like each sections that you're going to make on your sheet and i'll put like the overlay of mine in my journal and the notion page too in case you want like a visual example of how to do this and then under each of those sections you're gonna write down just like goals you have for yourself in those categories at least the first two so like as an example in mine for my like fitness slash physical health i put like working out doing hot girl walks pilates tennis and like ballet classes because those are just like forms of working out that i enjoy and that's the key is like on this you don't want to put things that are like unrealistic for yourself you want to put things that you actually have fun doing so then you're more likely to do it and it seems more appealing to you and then for like mental health i put just like different things i want to focus on slash i enjoy doing so it's journaling meditating listening to podcasts taking vitamins skincare and then drinking two stanleys a day that is a goal i have for this summer and for hobbies this section is literally just putting down anything that seems interesting that you haven't had the time to do or you think would be fun to learn over the summer so for mine i put youtube hey podcasting playing slash learning the guitar booking baking reading and then writing because I, I love to write then you're gonna do the same for each category so for fun events slash ideas when you get bored this section is really just like a backup list where you know there's just some days in the summer where like i literally don't know what to do but i want to get out of the house you can reference this so i put like driving movies having game night going to an amusement park having like a picnic day with your friends, a pool day, wine night slash movie night side thing. That's really like the gist of that section. And then potential trips, I feel like this is self-explanatory. You're just gonna put down any potential trips that you are going to be taking this summer or like think would be fun to take. So you know, just list that out. I feel like I don't really need to give an example of that. It's pretty straightforward. Restaurants, bars, museums section this is where you're gonna have to do a little bit of research but it's fun and will help you out literally go on like google go on tiktok go on pinterest and just look up like cool restaurants or bars in your area and just like sort of compile a list of all the names or like instagram ads and like put them down on your little guide sheet or on your notion page and then you will just have like a list of things and like places to try this summer with your friends and that will just keep you out of the house and like ensure that your schedule is full and you're like living your social butterfly life this is actually a tip i got from avon loge i forgot which video 
she said this in most while ago and i started doing this when i lived in new york because i found that i would just stay in my apartment all the time just because the city is very draining and exhausting but i was like i need to take advantage of like living here so like each month i would pick like three restaurants or a museum or like a bar or like club i wanted to like try out and like list it so like for this month i would go to the here here and here or like try this and then it also just gets you out you have an excuse to hang out with your friends I'm like hey do you want to try this restaurant you get the idea the next section you're going to do this with is just kind of create like a summer tbr um so like just finding all the books that you potentially might want to read i think this section is really fun and if you ever struggle with like reading if you're not a reader but you want to this is a really way to get it a really good way to get into it um resources i feel like Goodreads is a really good place to get recommendations from. Obviously, Book Talk exists, so um, if you want, like checking that out, people do like quick little reviews and like there's static videos that gets you interested in books. And I will say, I think Book Talk gets kind of a bad rep because there's a lot of like Colleen Hoover <laughs> and um, girlies, and like not that they aren't good authors, they're like books just aren't my cup of tea. So there are little niches on book talk that you can find, especially like I personally like to read books with like people of color as the main characters. So um there are little segments and I can list some of my favorite book talkers who recommend those type of books down below in the description. And you're gonna do the same with movies. Um this is just fun just having like a list of like movies you want to go see with your friends and like it kind of gets you excited for like releases and certain dates and just makes life a little bit more fun and exciting yeah that is step one you're going to create like a sort of guidebook so it's just sort of going to be your point of reference for the whole summer but i think it's really helpful just to have like a compilation of all these things so you literally never get bored i feel like with me that's like the biggest thing like summertime i'm like so excited to like have this time off from work school too and then i like end up just like doing nothing and this sort of prevents that and keeps you from like staying in the house um and just yeah i don't know i think i found this very very helpful and it led to like creating a lot of amazing memories for me that summer so hopefully it does the same and also too i think it's like good to stay motivated and productive because you're putting like goals there too it's sort of like a new year situation but like halfway through like a fresh start i don't know i just think it's really cool and fun so hopefully this can help you so that is step one step two this i think is really fun because i just love making them but you're going to make a mood board slash vision board for your summer um so now that you have everything that you want to do this summer slash your goals listed out you're gonna like look at those then you're gonna go on google go on pinterest you can go on what else has really good stuff instagram what is that we heart it i think that's what one people use um and you're just gonna find a bunch of really pretty aesthetic photos that like and capture everything you just wrote down so that's what your summer to look like and you're gonna save all of those to your phone and make a little vision slash mood board i feel like everyone kind of knows how to do these at this point um but i'll insert mine that i made really cute um and then you can just make this your lock screen or like your desktop wallpaper you can also like physically print these out or get these printed at like cvs um and make like a physical vision board i like do this on a bulletin board mine are act my physical pictures are actually on the way so i can't show you that but you can see my digital version um and a website i use for that when I want to do physical prints is called free prints and basically you can just get like these five I think it's five by seven if I'm not mistaken no no four by eleven four by eleven pictures um they print it out for free only thing you have to pay for is shipping which is usually like a dollar twenty five so it's actually a lot cheaper than CVS and like Walmart it just takes a little bit longer but if you don't mind the way it's definitely a good resource to use to make mood boards and vision boards yeah, that was like the part one to my ultimate guide to have like your perfect summer um i just wanted to share some of these tips because they really really did help me have such a good summer because I, I was a really summertime sadness girly i did not like the season at all and it really changed my perspective and now it's summer and i have such a positive outlook i am going to do a part two where i talk about like making routines and being a bit more productive and sort of how to like at enact and put these things into action in your life um but i didn't want to like do that on one video because i felt like it'd be kind of long so there'll be a part two coming up uh thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this and it 
is somewhat helpful and you have like your perfect dream summer because you deserve it. I love you to every single moon and back and I will see you in my next one. Hypnotized, I don't know why she got me feeling this way. She's got a way about her. She's got a way about her. My mesmerized like every night.